Today, we're diving deep into what might be the most talked about smartphone of the upcoming year, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But here's the twist. What if its standout feature ends up being its biggest Achilles heel? Let's unpack the potential of this device and examine its hardware, particularly the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset and its implications for mobile gaming. First off, let's talk about performance. A Snapdragon 8 Elite is a beast, and it seems to be pushing the limits of what smartphones can handle. We're moving closer to a world where smartphones aren't just communication devices. They are evolving into full-fledged gaming consoles. It's astounding to see that the GPU in the Galaxy S25 Ultra is apparently outperforming expectations, even rivaling the graphics capabilities of dedicated gaming hardware like the ROG Ally. In fact, recent tests revealed that this setup can run games like Red Dead Redemption at an incredible 160 frames per second. Now, to be fair, this was shown by a Chinese blogger, and we don't know the exact graphics settings or resolution used. But if this power can be harnessed effectively, it means console quality gaming could fit right in your pocket. But the excitement doesn't stop at just playing AAA titles. The Snapdragon 8 Elite also supports Linux unlocking capabilities for emulation and allowing gamers to play classic console games as well. We've even seen proof of this with games like Assassin's Creed being playable on this architecture. What we truly need now are dedicated AAA titles built specifically for smartphones powered by this chip. And who better to step up to that challenge than Samsung? Now let's talk about the downside. With such immense power, what's often the catch? You guessed it, heat. The only commercially available phone so far with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, the Realm GT7 Pro, has already exhibited some concerning overheating issues during tests, particularly when running intensive benchmarking apps like 3D Mark. Interestingly, other tests showed that this phone performed flawlessly without overheating issues, even outpacing the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This inconsistency might be due to a faulty unit or perhaps an optimization issue. This isn't necessarily a devastating flaw of the Snapdragon 8 Elite itself. However, Samsung must ensure that they implement an exceptional cooling solution in the S25 Ultra to fully unleash this chipset's capabilities. We can expect that Samsung is working on a version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite specifically tailored for the Galaxy S25 lineup, potentially overclocked for even better performance. Alongside this, new updates regarding One UI are hinting at an intriguing software experience. Internal tests are indicating we might see One UI 7.0 rolling out instead of the previously anticipated 7.1. Samsung has, however, delayed this update, which means we could be looking at the official version being unveiled alongside the Galaxy S25 launch. And here's some exciting news. Samsung has indirectly revealed plans for their XR devices expected in 2025. After two years of development, it looks like the tech giant is gearing up to enter the augmented reality space. These XR devices will be based on a special Android version tailored for enhanced experiences and powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen U. And if that isn't enough, Samsung's recent earnings report has hinted at a significant focus on the Galaxy S25 series, promising an elevated AI experience and top-notch design. All in all, things are heating up in the smartphone world, but let's hope it's for all the right reasons. So what do you think? Do you believe that the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra's incredible power could come with some unexpected drawbacks? And will we see AAA gaming truly thrive on mobile devices? Let's discuss in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon for updates on all things tech. Until next time, keep it cool literally. Peace out, everyone. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.